I've dreamed a dream. My spirit is troubled to know the dream. O oh, king, live forever. Tell thy servants the dream. And we will show the interpretation. Thing is gone from me! You will not make known unto me the dream with the interpretation thereof. You shall all be cut in pieces and your houses shall be made a dunghill. But if you show me the dream and the interpretation thereof, you shall receive of me gifts and rewards. In great honor. I know, O oh King, of many waking dreams and fleeting imagery. But only if thou, O oh noble King, will tell us the dream, can thy faithful servants show the interpretation of it. All of you have prepared Lying and corrupt words to speak before me so that you can gain the time till the thing is gone from me. Tell me the dream. And then I shall know that you can show me the interpretation thereof. There is not a man alive that can show thy matter. There is no king, lord, or ruler that asks such things of any magician or astrologer or Chaldean. It is a rare thing the king requires, for there is none other that can show the king his dream except the gods. Kill them. Kill them all. Ariok, what is this decree? What fate awaits the wise of Babylon? Death. Why is the decree so hasty from the king? After all these wars, the blood of Judah, Assyria, and Asia, the largest battle of Babylon rages within the king this very hour. Your life for a dream. A dream which the king will not reveal. A dream? Ariok, wait! This need not be. Bring me before the king. I can know the dream. Speak. O oh, king, if thou wilt give me time, I will show thee the dream and the interpretation thereof. My lord, what harm could be done? One day.
Daniel. May the gods, your God, be with you. Belteshazzar, wisest among the young. Art thou able to make known unto me the dream which I have seen, and the interpretation thereof? There is a God in heaven that revealeth secrets, and maketh known unto the king Nebuchadnezzar what shall be in the latter days. Thy dream and the visions of thy head upon thy bed are these. Thou, O king, sawest and behold a great image, this image, whose brightness is excellent, stood before thee, and the form thereof was terrible. The head was of fine gold, the breasts and arms of silver, the belly and thighs of brass.